it is written, Man shall not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Matthew chapter 4, verse 4. In living our lives, we need guidance. Guidance that will help us in our day-to-day activities. Guidance that will point us on the right direction. But most of us are basing on how we live our lives from the wrong sources, from incorrect information. That is why we have this program, Sola Scriptura, by Scripture alone, to help us know what is the utmost purpose of our lives, who we are here, and what we are living for. Sola Scriptura, by Scripture alone, will tackle on matters that concern our spiritual journey, our moral and spiritual struggles, and how to overcome it, and how we can grow spiritually. Sola Scriptura, by Scripture alone, now, your host, Sola Scriptura, your will, Senor Simo, Senor Simo, Senor Simo, Sola Scriptura, by Scripture alone. Yes, good day everyone. Welcome to a new program in our social media accounts. Right here, of course, uh, on uh, Senor Simon YouTube channel and also on our Facebook fan page. And uh, of course, on our Twitter at Senor Simon 101. This is our new program as promised to you all. That we were going to have to launch someday, but right now this is the right time that we are going to introduce this program, Sola Scriptura. But before anything else, before I will uh, go to our topic for this episode, let me remind everyone to like our YouTube channel or this video and click on subscribe and the notification bell for our YouTube channel or YouTube channel. What's that YouTube channel? YouTube channel and also our Facebook fan page. That's Sen- Senior Simon Issue 101. Please do follow and like it, uh, friends and uh, folks. So, once again, welcome to this new program. And uh, I-, I do hope that you are having uh, a relaxing moment at your wherever you are right now because this program will be different from our usual. The topic our uh, usual format for our YouTube channel and also for our Facebook fan page in which for this Sola Scriptura we are going to tackle spiritual issue and of course if you are a, a, a follower an avid follower for our our uh, social media accounts you know that we do have uh, issue 101 live in which we are tackling social issues but for sola scriptura co issues we are going to tackle spiritual issues so this is open to all whether you are a non-believers you are very much welcome on this show and i if if you want to have some questions clarifications on uh, the issues that we are talking here you can Chat us on the chat box and uh, express what do you have in mind, and I will have uh, or I will give time to read about it. And if you are watching this video via replay, do please like the vi- this video and of course uh, leave a comment if you have anything to add to our discussion, anything to say to our topic, then it is. Uh, it is highly appreciated if you, uh, you do that. Once again, this is yours truly, Senor Simon, a firm and courageous, confidant of truth, an agent of light and clarity to a darkened and unclear controversies in our society and its people. For the show, Sola Scriptura, which means by Scripture 
Hello. So, uh, before I will tackle our topic co issues, friends, folks, on this episode, our first episode of Sola Scriptura. Let me first, uh, uh, what we call this, explain why we choose this word as our program name or our show name for uh, this uh, this social media for this video that we have right now so let me explain brief explanation of what is sola scriptura if for those who want to know what this is all about sola scriptura co, uh, co issues and friends this is from wikipedia is a latin word which means by scripture alone that is why we have a a a a a, 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 a uh, what we call this uh you know a, a, a following word whenever we we type this like this Sola scriptura. by scripture alone that's right so sola scriptura means or it is a latin word which means by scripture alone this is a christian theological doctrine held by most uh, protestant christian denominations in particular the lutheran and reformed traditions that posits the bible as the sole infallible source of authority for christian faith and practice so let's let us leave at that point on the definition of what is sola scriptura and of course why i choose this as the title of this uh show because i do believe by the principle of this of the lutheran as well as the uh, and the reformed traditions that the bible has the the ultimate authority in terms of christian doctrine christian faith christian practice christian teachings so whatever is uh, is 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 argued about traditions about practices it should be that the bible is the utmost authority that would settle all arguments in line of christian faith so that is why we choose this because the rest of our episodes if god allows us to to continue with this program we are going to tackle even social problems on sola scriptura we will going to tackle even social problems most especially morality and spiritual issues and we will based on everything that we are going to discuss here from the bible so that is why i want you to sit back relax and uh, I do hope that you that I will get your full attention and uh, uh, and uh, of course uh, thank you for by the way uh, our friend uh, Choya uh, Choya Garden why it's uh, Choya Garden now uh, putting it up mm. uh, he said here in uh, in Cebuano I'm sorry, uh, my friend uh, Choya Garden, because I am actually doing uh, this in, uh, in you know, uh, you know, in uh, English because I I want to relate. I want to make our uh, friends there to relate with us with our discussion, especially uh, on, uh, on 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 uh, the matter of faith. In which what that's what we are going to discuss here so i do hope that you're going to invite your friends as well to listen to this program to the show and uh we are going to have this show uh, probably it, it depends on the views because if uh, the views will exceed all the views that we have for our issue 101 for our our other videos that we are uploading in our youtube channel in our facebook fan page then we are going to do the show twice a week probably but for the meantime 
This is our first episode of uh, Sola Scriptura. This will be uh, episode one. So uh, what I've mentioned earlier, and um, I do hope that the uh, Choya Garden will, will uh, s- stick with us until the end. It will just be a short program, actually, friends. It will be a 30 minute uh, show. So anyway, <laughs> I, I I I already talked uh, so long. And uh, let's have our uh, f- uh, our uh, discussion, which we are going to answer this question: What is God's purpose for me? Sola Scriptura, by Scripture alone. Okay, so let's uh, go directly because we we lack of uh, time. So let me go directly to our discussion on what is God's purpose. For me, that is our topic for this episode. Once again, don't forget to like, subscribe, and uh, you know the rest. So, here it is. And uh, it is very interesting to note that King David wrote about this in the book of Psalm. In uh, the book of Psalm, chapter 8, verse 3. To four, he said, or he wrote, King David wrote, When I look at the sky which you have made, at the moon and the star which you set in their places, what are humans or human beings that you think of them, mere mortals that you care for them? You know, this is the heart of King David when he th- thought that. The vastness of space, the 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 uh, the the size of the earth, that he, the, the his surroundings at the time, the majestic or the majesty of what God has had established. You know, he 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 wonder why God thought. About human beings, why he think he care or he cares for humanity. That is the 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 thought that King David had when he wrote these songs, these psalms. And so let's uh, tackle the context before we w- we will be out of time. Probably we will be. Uh, will uh, just uh, you know uh, use a an a additional minutes so that uh, we can we can finish this discussion but remember this by the way before I will continue that uh, if uh, we will not uh, or, or, or the, the 30 minutes will be over for us for a certain episode don't you worry return the following or the next uh, episode that we are going to have this sola scriptura because we are going to continue the discussion so that's uh the good thing about this show sola scriptura because if we are done with time we will continue with our discussion the following episode friends so the context of this the entire uh chapter on psalms chapter 8 this is what King David wrote about He said O Lord our Lord your greatness is seen in all the world your praise reaches up to the heavens it is sung by children and babies you are safe and secure from all your enemies you stop anyone who opposes you this is the praise of King David when he wrote this this is his song this is his heart the greatness of God as what he experienced in his lifetime okay let's continue in chapter uh, in verse 3 when I look at the sky which you have made this is what we read earlier at the moon and the stars which you set in their places what are human beings that you think of them mere mortals that you care for them and then chapter 5 he said 
yet you made them inferior on only to yourself this is the human beings he said that you what are we that you cared for us yet you you you've made that us inferior by the way the the other version of of this is uh uses the word you yet you made them the human beings inferior to angels other translations it says yet you made them you made the human beings inferior only to you only to god because the hebrew word the original hebrew word used uh uh on on, on the term yourself or on the, the other term of angels is elohim Elohim, so it, it, it is usually translated as gods, but it is also the term used for God, Elohim. Yet you made them inferior only to you. Human beings, the next, I mean, we are only below or under in, in, in terms of hierarchy, we are on And are all under the authority of God. Nobody is above uh, above us except God. And he added, you crowned them with glory and honor. Verse 6, you appointed them rulers over everything you made. You placed them over all creation, sheep and cattle and wild animals too, the birds and the fish and the creatures in the seas. So what David Okay, th- thank you once again to Chuyo Garden. My uh, your new channel is Chuyo Garden. Thank you. Uh Ko Isho Chuyo Garden for having us here. Hopefully you are already subscribed to my uh uh from from your new new youtube cha- or it's just a youtube channel i believe not a, a, a an account so anyway let me continue this the, the 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 point of which king david said in this chapter psalms 8 he pointed out that you know you are god you are majestic you are you are great you are powerful Even though the vastness of space, the the billions of stars, probably this time, you know, uh, in ancient time, uh, probably they don't have any idea of how many stars because it, if 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 you're going to 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 uh, read other part of parts of the Bible when speaking about stars, it's uh, cannot be counted. That's the idea of the ancient of of, of the writings uh, in the Bible. The stars cannot be counted. The vastness of space. The 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 thought, the idea. When King David wrote this, he said, "You are great. You are majestic. You are you are too powerful." Yet, from the vastness, the the, the vastness of space, the greatness. Of, of what you have created the plants the trees everything that King David have observed at this time have appreciated as the, uh, at this time yet in his heart he thought what is human being that you have to care for them what is human being that you have to think so that is why we tied We 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 uh what do you call this? We questioned. We made this episode titled "What is God's purpose for me?" Because if the if the God of the universe created this this very uh what do you call this very uh, majestic creations, and yet David questions. What is human being that you have to care for us? What is human being that you have to look? You have to. You have to. Uh, what's this? Uh, that uh, you have. They are just mere mortals. 
that you have to think about us. This is what King David. Yet, you appointed just, you, you set human beings just below you. The only authority human beings have is you, God, and you put human beings above all the creation. You appointed in, in this verses in this verse 6, you appointed them rulers over everything you made, you placed them over all creation, sheep and cattle and the wild animals too, the birds and the fish and the creatures in the seas. And he ended in verse 8, he said, O Lord our Lord, your greatness is seen in all the world. That's how valuable we are. So if there are those of you uh, among you who are watching right now, whether live or replay and thinking about your, 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 yourself as nobody, you belittling yourself, you think that you are worthless. Remember this, that God is thinking about you right now we may be just passers by in this life our life will might might be just short but even that short life span we have average of 70 or 60 i, I don't know what 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 is the the current uh average lifespan of uh, a human being currently but if you do have that you know thinking that your life is worthless and 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 and, and you don't have purpose you don't have purpose this is a good news to you friends because even though the God of the universe who created everything that we have that we can see that we that that that, that we can uh, uh, what we call this we we, we can uh, uh, I forgot the term you know that that, that we can enjoy for th for those who are enjoying their they, they have enjoyment in their life the God of the universe is thinking about you. He is caring for you. And so, now, let us fathom the question of, do you know why God allowed you to be born? That is what I actually put on the description box. Have you already discovered what is God's purpose for your life? Hmm? Now, in our succeeding episodes, we are going to revisit this topic because as we move on with our discussions, with our episodes, we are going or, 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 or the, the, the answer to the questions of what is my purpose? What is my life's purpose? Why am I here? Will be revealed. It will be slowly revealed. It cannot be revealed just for one episode of our discussion. But this is the first step to acknowledge that the Lord of the universe, the God who created all these things that we can see and even those that we cannot see, cares for you, cares for me, thinks about you, thinks about me. He always have us in mind now I know that many of us have plans this is what I am going to achieve this is what are my plans this is what I'm going to do after this span of time after five years this is what I want to achieve this is what these are these are my goals but remember this friends in Proverbs chapter 19 verse 21 again again Proverbs chapter 19, verse 21. This is what the Bible says. P 
people may plan all kinds of things but the Lord's will is going to be done. In other words, in other translation, many are the plans of man. Many are the plans but in the end, it is God's will that will always be uh, what we call this uh, will always go to pass. I mean, it's always God's plan that will going to happen. Many are, 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 are the things that we think that we want to achieve. Perhaps, there are those among uh, our viewers that they 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 already achieved what they are plan, planning to to happen or to achieve their goals probably you might have already obtained that goal goals you have you already achieved that you have reached that but remember huh remember this as long as you live as long as you are alive that goal of yours may not going to satisfy you you still have something that 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 is that is uh, that is uh, what we call this uh, a part of your of you that is still wanting to to have or more to have there is something in you that you still want to to achieve even though your initial plans your your plans a long long time ago have already been met have already been achieved but still you there is something in us because we we know that human will not be satisfied nothing can satisfy a a, a, a person so there will always be something that uh, will uh, the, the, probably the the the, the old people that uh, already have uh, you know uh, already living life fruitfully and they are already probably at the, at, at an age that they already had uh, experienced a lot of things have already achieved a lot of things but still i don't believe that they are they, nothing in them are still aiming to have to achieve something i don't think so so let's continue the 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 main purpose the main purpose let let, let me put this into perspective the main purpose of why you and me are alive are here can be found in this writing in Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10. This says, For we are His masterpiece. Whose masterpiece? God. Created in Christ Jesus for good works that God prepared long ago to be our way of life. What does this mean? We are God's masterpiece creations very and delicate delicately created and we are not just created by God just to to enjoy life to 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 uh, what they call this uh, to Um, I forget the term. To enjoy life, to just you know, to to live as long as we live. I mean, uh, I I am looking for for the right term, but uh, I'm sorry if I if if I cannot actually express it thoroughly. But my the the idea is, we uh, God did not just created for us to live, but 
God created mankind to live for Christ. And not just for Christ, but if you are living your life in Christ Jesus, this one, good works. And that good works has been prepared a long time ago to be our way of life. That is what God's purpose for us. Probably on, on specific, I cannot ultimately say to everyone that this is your purpose of life, you this is your purpose of life, you this is your purpose of life. No, I cannot specifically tell you this is your purpose of life. But we have basic foundation. First is that God, but uh, let me put that aside uh, uh, that uh, aside for the meantime remember if uh, during the creation if you read Genesis chapter 1 he first created the universe then he created the world we live in he created plants he created birds he created uh, animals in 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 uh, water animals then he created land animals before he created man. What, the, what, what is that? Uh, what God wants to imply? The message that he created everything before mankind because he wants, God wants that when mankind will be created, everything is already there. No more, uh, uh, what we call this, no more things that is lacking for mankind. It will be already established. What ha does a uh, ma human being ha has, has to do? We read that in uh, verse, what was uh, that verse? Verse uh, 5. To take care. I mean, no, verse 6. Sorry. Verse 6. To rule. To manage. To make dominion. The other term for rules is dominion. That is what your purpose. But you cannot do that unless you have the mind of God. I mean, what you have an idea of what what is God's will? What is God's design? Unless you do have that mind, you do have an idea of what is God's will, what is it God's mind, you will be satisfied because you will know what is your purpose. Let me emphasize this. God has a purpose for every one of us. And his primary purpose for us is to make dominion upon all creations. But because of the fall, we do we we have short sighted of that rule of that uh, dominion. We fall short on that because of humanity's fall because of humanity's sin that is why jesus christ came god's son he sent his only begotten son to earth to become one of us in order for us to be reconnected to god in order for us to know what is god's will to know what has what god has in in his mind for us to do what is our rule what is our very purpose sola scriptura by scripture alone because if you do understand what god has in mind for humanity the only person that can give us or reveal that to us is jesus christ because he said 
Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through Him. We cannot know the mind of God. We cannot know the will of God unless through Jesus Christ. So that is our challenge for you, friends, to know God, to have an intimate relationship through Jesus Christ. So that will be all for this episode of Sola Scriptura by Scripture alone. Once again, don't forget to like this video, share this video to your friends so that they will they they will have a an idea that uh, we have this show in our social media accounts, and uh, of course they will be able to have an insight. Remember, this is just our first episode and I ask forgiveness. I apologize if I were I, I am not very articulate on words because I am not truly an English speaker but I am doing my best to explain what is what the Bible is talking about on terms of morality of terms of spiritual issues. Sola Scriptura by Scripture alone. So that e- that's uh, that ends our episode for Sola Scriptura. And uh, once uh, for a while, let me uh, clean this first. Okay. So once again, this is yours truly, Senor Simon, Senor Simon. A firm and courageous confidant of truth, an agent of light and clarity to a darkened and unclear controversies in our society and its people will say a well-informed person is advantageous. Take care, God bless you all, and all praises be to the Lord Jesus Christ. Watch out, I will be posting our uh, next schedule for our next episode of Sola Scriptura. Be sure that you are subscribed in your YouTube channel so that you will be informed in advance whenever we are going to have our live uh, streaming. So until next time, God bless you all. Bye-bye. For truly, I tell you, until heaven and earth disappear, not the smallest letter, not the least stroke of a pen, will by any means disappear from the law until everything is accomplished. Matthew chapter 5 verse 18